Hi, I'm Ove Gulberg and I'm from the University of Queensland where I undertake research, teaching and direct an institute called the Global Change Institute. In addition to the university campus in Brisbane, Australia, University of Queensland has research stations on Stradbroke Island and Heron Island on the Great Barrier Reef. Now, the University of Queensland has a long tradition of marine research that goes back to the 1930s. A large number of respected scientists have either worked or studied at the university and its field stations for most of the past century. And through this legacy, the university has built up a respected capacity for research, teaching and learning in the marine sciences. Now, tropical coastal ecosystems, as a course, represents a rich mixture of sandy coves, interreefal areas, mangroves, sea grasses, and coral reefs. And it's these ecosystems that are found along tropical and subtropical environments that represent such a rich assemblage of species and interactions which defy entire coastlines. For example, coral reefs and mangroves form protective margins where wave energy is dissipated. And as a result, these ecosystems protect entire coastlines and nurture other ecosystems, providing habitat and protecting human infrastructure and livelihoods from waves and storms. The support that these ecosystems give to coastal people is enormous. Tropical coastal ecosystems provide 300 to 500 million people with food and livelihoods. These people are often unable to access alternative sources of food and income. Now, the growth of human populations along these coastlines has also led to significant challenges for these ecosystems. Many fisheries have collapsed and ecosystems such as mangroves, seagrasses and coral reefs have degraded significantly from a combination of factors associated with the expansion of human activities along tropical coastlines. Even here in Australia, a significant degradation of the highly protected Great Barrier Reef has occurred. In this photo, a photograph taken by biologist Saville Kent in 1893, you can see healthy coral reefs extending in the foreground. Well, when biologist Andrew Elliott went back and photographed the exact same site in 1994, this is what he saw. Now notice that the hills in the background can be used to line up the photograph. Well, those coral reefs that were in the foreground have now disappeared. It's really important that we improve our understanding of these critically important ecosystems. Our course, Tropical Coastal Ecosystems, has been designed by leading scientists and covers the biology, ecology and interactions of tropical coastal ecosystems and humans. It will also help you understand the problems and the solutions that need to be put in place if we're to continue to enjoy these magnificent coastal features. Well, let me tell you now a little bit about the way the course works. Each week you'll be encouraged to master a series of modules. These modules are accompanied by puzzles, quizzes and short interpretive assignments set by the experts leading the module in question. The lectures will consist of short videos which will intersperse with knowledge acquisition moments. These are moments when you can check your knowledge and see how you performed in a particular exercise. It's important that you participate in these knowledge acquisition moments as they will contribute to your overall understanding of the content and are critical for allowing you to test whether or not you've understood a particular concept. As you complete each component of the course, you'll be preparing yourself for the final phase of the course which involves virtual fieldwork. This is an exciting and innovative program which will allow you to travel the world to investigate coral reefs and or mangrove ecosystems. Now the project will centre on these two great ecosystems and will allow you to design experiments which will help advance your understanding of tropical coastal ecosystems. This final project will introduce you to the interpretation, the analysis of data and will also enable you to understand how scientists conduct studies on tropical coastal ecosystems. The teaching staff within tropical coastal ecosystems are at the top of their fields internationally. Professor Catherine Lovelock is a physiological ecologist that works on mangrove systems across Australia and Southeast Asia. Professor Peter Mumby is a coral expert who was made an ARC laureate in 2010, which is an extremely high honour. Peter works on mangroves and coral reef ecosystems, particularly trying to understand the complex interactions that occur between organisms such as fish, corals, 
mangroves and reef systems. Associate Professor Sophie Dove specialises in the ecophysiology of coral reefs, particularly in how they're responding to climate change and ocean acidification. She works primarily here at Heron Island on the Southern Great Barrier Reef, specialising in the design of experiments used to simulate and understand how steadily warming and acidifying oceans are likely to impact coral reefs, mangroves and other tropical coastal ecosystems. Professor Hugh Possingham is also an ARC laureate and is an internationally respected mathematical ecologist. Hugh is also director of the ARC Centre for Environmental Decisions, specialising in marine spatial planning. His decision-making platform, MarkSan, has been used to help redesign marine parks all over the planet. In Australia, for example, MarkSan was used by the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority uh, to successfully redesign the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park, leading to its acceptance by the Australian Government in 2004. Professor Stuart Finn will introduce you to the topic of remote sensing. He teaches geography at and is Director of the Centre for Spatial Environmental Research and also the Remote Sensing Research Program. His focus is on the development of satellite image-based environmental monitoring tools. The course will also include other important aspects of understanding, researching and finding solutions for tropical coastal ecosystems. For example, you will hear and analyse contributions from leading communicators such as Robin Williams. Robin is an internationally acclaimed journalist who specialises in communicating science. His radio show, the ABC Science Show, has been running for almost 40 years. Robin will help you understand how important communication is in terms of getting the recommendations of science adopted by coastal ecosystem managers and policy makers. There are many other people that have contributed to the development of this course. Among those experts are postdocs and students who have been instrumental in allowing this course to achieve its goals. Well, we hope that you'll enjoy this course and that you'll be able to develop skills for exploring, understanding and solving the problems that tropical coastal ecosystems face as we traverse the 21st century. I personally look forward to going on this journey with you. <laughs>